All right, I've got the whole uh, bed covered in Rhino liner. You can see the bed and the side walls, um, or Herculiner is what it is. And now I'm going to insulate it with uh, this duct insulation. It's this cell stick, uh, stick and peel foam. Um, that's an eighth of a millimeter, eighth of an inch thick. I think it's going to be pretty good for sound reduction, and it's uh, got an R value of three. Then I'm going to put this on the side walls. Uh, hopefully, I'll have enough. This will do the floor, and then I'll put this over it, which might be excessive, but um, I just wanted to make sure I got the gaps filled with this. And this is, I don't think this has any sound dampening. This should have sound dampening. Um, and then I'll put a subfloor over top. Um, but this will also go on the walls if I have enough. I tried to buy excess, so I've got eight rolls of this. Uh, this big roll. Um, this is just regular housing insulation for the cracks in the big areas, uh, in the door, things like that. Some great stuff, some Reflectex tape, the, just tape over the holes, and then some um, multi-purpose adhesive. So hopefully today I'll get that done. I got my radio in. As you can see, there's a radio. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's been a pain. I've, uh, it's got Bluetooth in it, which is really cool because I got kind of spoiled on that. Um, but I forgot to put the microphone in. So for the third time, I'll have to take the dash off, which is a pain, a really big pain in these cars or vans. And um, put it back in. The first time I did it, I, so I forgot to tape two wires. And the two that you don't forget to tape, uh, the ground and then the yellow wire, which is something else. So I burned up the fuse first thing. And uh, also, <laughs> I took this heater out right here, right? This is, I'm gonna sound really stupid. So heaters run because the coolant comes into a radiator and then the blower goes and blows the hot air that heated the radiator into the car, right? So the blower didn't work. The heater probably, the heater element, I'm sure it was fine. Um, anyway, I just pulled it out because it was all broken. Not thinking that when I pull it out, I'm gonna lose all my coolant. So when I pulled it out, I lost all my coolant. Now I've got an air bubble in my coolant, at least that's what I hope. So later I'm gonna try to burp my car. Oh, and then another thing on that. So I replaced the antifreeze, right? Cause that's what I'm thinking. Oh, well, I'm out of coolant, put antifreeze in it. This is a Dex Cool system. Apparently you don't mix antifreeze and Dex Cool. Lesson learned. So I had to go and get it flushed yesterday, which was, you know, was fun. And since after I got it flushed, I still am out of uh, heat. So, I might have to buy, uh, yeah, I might have to pay for a mechanic to fix it. So I'm trying to be a little bit patient because uh, when I get impatient, it's when I break things. And uh, yes, I'm starting off good. I'm excited about getting this insulation in. I'll keep you updated and hopefully it'll be good. All right, have a good one.